We have taken over Toulouse, who finished second place in the League 2 last year. We only have three days to sort out the squad before our first game this season, and we have to try and find a way to take them all the way to the top of the League 1. Welcome to Replicating Ranieri with Toulouse. Hello guys and welcome back to the first episode of Replicating Ranieri with Toulouse in the French League 1 or the League 1, whatever you want to call it. Either way, we are here and we are trying to win the league with Toulouse. If you guys don't know how Replicating Ranieri works, I'll quickly go over the rules as I always do at the start of each season. So basically what we're trying to do in this series is take a team that finished 14th place or lower and take them to the top of their respective league just like Claudio Ranieri did with Leicester City. Now unfortunately we've twisted the rules just a wee bit this time out because Toulouse actually were in the League 2 the season before but if you put all of the leagues into one big thing they finished 22nd so technically they finished lower than 14th place so I'm allowing that. It was the only job on the table so we're going to give it a crack and see how it goes in this first episode. If you are new to this series make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode in this new series. I have a feeling it's going to be an exciting one. Let's meet the team. If we go onto the tactics page, of course, I'm starting off with this formation and the Gagan Press because it worked so well for us last year with Real Betis and hopefully it can work just as well. If you take a look at the squad, our main men are this man up top, a young striker who doesn't look too bad at all. And then we've got Ojo, who a few of you might recognize from Liverpool back in the day. Also, Vallejo out on the left hand side he was a signing that was made just before I came in so not a bad one at all Kone looks solid in the midfield he could be an absolute star in a couple of years Illich also in CDM looks like a great player and the defense is probably where we need to be looking to improve the most but this goalkeeper does look like a solid player nonetheless so the positions I'm looking to get right now is the central midfield role here both centre backs could go with a wee bit of an upgrade and the right back could go with a wee bit of an upgrade. But honestly, whatever comes up, I will take a look at. It's all about taking advantage of those bargains in Football Manager if you want to build a squad from the bottom. And this is all we have in the transfer budget. $9 million and 57000 bucks. It's, uh, it's not exactly what we wanted, but the club isn't exactly the richest. Actually, they're not in the positives right now, but I'm hoping that we will be able to change that and manage to move up in the table as the season goes on. The club vision for this squad, they only want us to finish mid-table, and I think that might be one of the reasons why they took me on. They originally wanted us to only avoid relegation, but I told them that I could get them a mid-table finish because at the end of the day, our goal is to win the league. So even mid-table would be pretty disappointing, especially if you take a look at our track record with the other sides. But this is where we are and this is what we're going to be doing with Toulouse. I hope that you guys are ready for the journey. Our first game in the league and is only three days away against Cayenne. I maybe am getting that one right. And then we have to play PSG. But we're going to dive straight into the transfer window. I'm hoping that we can get a few deals done before the first day of the season. But I'm not going to lie to you all. I don't see it happening anytime soon. But either way, we're going to jump into whatever happens first and hopefully we can get some good stuff done. And welcome to Toulouse. Well, we're ready for the first game of the season, and unfortunately, no transfers have been made. We have put out a lot of offers, though. We're looking to bring in quite a few really good players, midfielders and centre-backs mainly, and uh, I think we should have some deals done very soon, but unfortunately, none done just yet. So this is the squad that we're going to have to go with. Not a bad team by any stretch of the imagination but I would love to have had some new faces in there but either way I am feeling confident going into this first game of the season only three days after we've gone in the role and let's see if we can come away with all three points as our first game as uh, the new Talese manager and we're off our first few minutes as the new manager of this club 
is ticking by and we are starting off quite well dominating position having more shots in there and this is the squad that actually came up with us from the league too so hopefully they don't do a better job than us in the first game of the season in the top division in France. They have the first chance of the game and they're passing it around quite well but we do manage to get it back eventually. I was hoping that we'd be able to kick start a counter attack there but they have it back once again and they're playing it all the way back to the goalkeeper. Oh, they've read my uh, my game plan, they know exactly what they need to do and uh, but eventually their goalkeeper clears it out far too far and it looks like it is going to be our chance playing it through the middle and our star striker, our young, young star striker, I think he's only 18 years of age, yes he is, uh, is uh, almost scoring his first goal there but unfortunately for him shoots it right at the goalkeeper but I'm sure that throughout the season he's only going to get better and I don't see a way that he doesn't pick up quite a few goals for us as long as he does well in this tactic. It's a very bland first half so far, six shots to their zero, but as the 40th minute comes along, it looks like we're going to be going into the halftime break at nil all, unless we see a goal in this chance. Gomez running with the ball, playing it back to Illich, who is one of our star men at CDM, and I'm sure we'll get to know him a lot better as the season goes on. And now we're playing it up, Hugo on the ball, playing it to Serrano. I'm trying to get familiar with these names before the start of the season, and I think that tackle was inside of the area, and I think we might have our first goal and penalty of the season. Well, I say goal, assuming that he'll put it into the back of the net. I have no idea who's taking it, to be completely honest, because I haven't bothered to set up the uh, instructions just yet. But to me, that looked like it was inside of the box. We're going to it, but apparently it's outside of the box. I'd like to see a replay. Looked inside to me, but uh, I'm not the referee, unfortunately. A great ball into the area. And we almost score once again, but a great save from their goalkeeper. But I guess we can take a lot of confidence in the fact that in this first half, we have certainly been the more dominant side. And we could still score in it yet. Three minutes to go, a little bit of additional time, but I think it's going to tick by very quickly. And we go into halftime at nil all. I will tell the team, uh, what should I say? I'll say I'm not happy with the performance. Let them know what I want from them. I want to win every single game that we can. And this is certainly a winnable match. And uh, as we go into the second half, they're all fired up. Hopefully we can see something different. We might need to move to a positive mentality if nothing happens in the next few minutes. But for now, I think what, what we're doing is all right. We just need to find a way to put it into the back of the net. I've made a tactical change and it looks like we might have a chance straight after that. But these are always uh, hit or miss. You either score from them or it's absolutely nothing and shouldn't even be a highlight. But as we run up upfield with the ball, looks like it could end up with a very promising shot. Kone shoots it just wide and that was a very good chance for us once again. I've moved to a more positive mentality and I've asked them to put in low crosses. I don't know if our striker is exactly the aerial threat that we are used to with Iglesias at uh, Real Betis. But either way, I think that that might help us get a little bit more of a chance in on goal. As we knock the ball around, well they knock the ball around, we're hoping to get it back at some point soon so that we can create the chance and get the first goal of the season and of the match. We're playing it out to the left, play it into the middle, good pass to Kone who plays it to Ojo who is going to look to put a ball into the middle surely, eventually plays it back but unfortunately it is taken away from us and they are sprinting forward. Their midfielder is one on one with our keeper but he makes a good save. And luckily for us, we stay on level terms. But that could have easily been a banana skin moment where we slip up and let them score a goal. Would have been very undeserved as they almost score again from a corner. And I think that they're trying to find a way back into this game. But straight afterwards, we have an opportunity. And if we can score here, I'm sure that we will be able to gain enough confidence to see it out for the rest of the match. Gomez going for... I don't know if he was going for a shot there, but if he was... Mate, sort it out. Stop trying to shoot from there. You're not going to score every time. He is back on the ball after a terrible clearance from their goalkeeper. And Ojo has it out on the right. Looking to play it back. He's doing well at losing the ball lately. But right now he is still on it. A good ball into Hugo. And it goes over the bar. And with 20 minutes to go, we have definitely been the more dominant side in this game. But I'm a little bit worried that the goal isn't going to come to reflect that. We have a corner. And if we get this one into the back of the net, surely we can feel a little bit more confident about the game. And it, it looks like someone's gone down in the box. And although we didn't win the last penalty, we do win this one. Who's stepping up to the plate? I have no idea. Absolutely no clue. It is Hugo. And he is our left winger. And he can't score it. 
We can't buy a goal in this game. What is going on? This is terrible stuff. Play a ball into the middle and see if we can get a hit onto it. Ojo trying to get his noggin onto it, but unfortunately for us, we still can't find a goal. And you have to say that we've been very unlucky out here today. And they could even come at us, but luckily for us, the chance is over. And I think it's time for me to finally make my first substitution. We make two substitutions, one in the midfield area and one taking off that left winger that did miss the penalty. A ball into the middle almost creates a last minute chance for us, well not quite last minute, but eventually it does mean that they have the ball running forward and if they score here, as they do, it will be such an unfortunate result. We deserve to win here today and we've thrown it away at the last, in the last few minutes and I don't know what to do. I'll demand more, go attacking, but you have to say... We have just been unlucky here today, and if, I, if I'd sorted out that penalty taker, decided on the right one, maybe we could have come away with all three points, but nah, it's just an unfortunate game, honestly. This has not been our day. We can't find a way to get into the back of the net, so we are going to bring on a different striker. The familiarity in this, uh, in this tactical style is absolutely nothing, so that has probably got something to do with it. But losing on the first day of the season, away from home, it's just, it's just not what you want. It's not, oh, what am I trying to say? It's not fair. It's just an unfair result. We definitely deserve to come away with at least a point there. If not, all three points. Zero points is an absolute joke. And uh, we've got Paris Saint-Germain to play in our next game. Hopefully we can find a way to <laughs> come away with at least a point. Otherwise... I'm already feeling a little bit nervous about the way that this season is going to go. Hopefully, we can finally make some tactical changes and uh, get some signings in. But until then, I think we're going to have to deal with this squad and it could be a long season if we don't get some good faces in. Despite the result in the first game of the season, we have some good news. We have finally got our first signing over the line and it is Douglas Louise on loan from Aston Villa for only $16,000 a week. Not too bad at all. He can play in that central defensive midfield role or more likely going to be used in that box-to-box -box midfield role. That is such a great signing for us and I'm stoked to have him as our first one. We've still got a couple of other deals that we're trying to get across the line. The main ones that I really want to get are this man uh, at centre-back. He looks very, very solid as well as uh, a right-back maybe and we're just keeping an eye on who gets put on and off the transfer list so that we can get some quality players in for some really cheap prices uh, and uh, hopefully rejuvenate the squad so that we can actually challenge against PSG in our next match. We are ready to jump into the next game against PSG but unfortunately this is where we're going to end it for this episode. I know, I know, I mean, um, I feel like a soap opera leaving you guys on a cliffhanger. That's some seriously good stuff on my behalf, you know, keep, keep the views coming, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Make sure you tune into the next episode, otherwise my plan has completely backfired, where we will be playing against PSG and also playing a game against Reigns and finishing our time in the transfer window where hopefully we will make some more signings than we have in today's episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Like and subscribe for daily Football Manager content and I will see you all later.